gone for two days and I come back home to no food in sight. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. I went to Rouse's because I'm off work today. I'm running all these errands. Come back from a two-day trip and it's like chaos, right? Chaos, mom life for sure. So I went to Rouse's and spent $79. I still have to go out and about and go to Whole Foods when I go pick up Trey. I have a doctor's appointment for him. He's not sick. He's going to a wellness visit. Oh my gosh, today has been cray. So I've got some bananas for Waylon. Strawberries were $2. However, they were not the best. So these were like the best that I could find. For me, eat the damn berries. They're out of season for sure, but I still love them and I like them fresh. So I went ahead and got that for two bucks. Their cucumbers were 50 cents and they were also pitiful looking. I mean, look at that. And I got that for Lunchables this week for me. I got Trey some apple slices. These were more than the ones that I usually get from Walmart, but he does like these. Their avocados were $2.99 for two pounds. I thought that was a great deal and they looked pretty good. So I went ahead and got those. I'm hopefully I, they won't go bad and I can eat them up. To make those chicken Caesar roll-ups, instead of doing a meal prep video because I have so much going on today, I think I'm just going to do a lunch video for you guys to show you that one particular recipe because everything else was repeat from other meal prep meal preps. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. And I got some hearts of romaine, which this was expensive as well. Got to get back to my Wally world because they were out of all kinds of stuff today and everything was like hella high. Oh my gosh. Broccoli florets. That was like 219, but you get 16 ounces. Not bad. I got some of the oven roasted chicken breast and 839 because it's like 699 a pound for the chicken breast. Not terrible. And I got it sliced thick. So y'all see how thick it is. And that's what you want for those chicken Caesar roll-ups. I've made roll-ups before with chicken breast and they are so so good and I cannot wait to try this out it's going to be like chicken Caesar salad in your mouth but in a roll-up and easy to eat for one and then I got a pound and a quarter of course of the white American cheese for Trey's keto queso speaking of keto queso I did get some cream cheese so I got this for a recipe for myself this was on sale so I got that for Trey it's a little bit more carbier but we don't mind that for him and then I got a big block of mozzarella cheese to make some chaffle sandwiches I think for breakfast then, yes, I went ahead and caved and got the Rebel ice cream. We have not had it in forever, and Hubby has been asking. He's like, where's the Rebel? Where's the Rebel? Y'all know I have not bought this in months. $6.39. OMG, what is my life? This is his favorite flavor of the new ones, the coconut almond swirl. I went ahead and treated ourselves. My favorite flavor is the triple chocolate, so I, oh my gosh, like $14 for ice cream. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's why I'm not buying it anymore. It is too freaking expensive. It used to be like $4.99. Now it's $6.39. What the actual heck, Rebel? Y'all know I love them and we all love them. That's got to stop with that price. And that's why I have not been buying it because I am a cheapo. <laughs> YQ protein yogurt, y'all. I love this with the nut butter and the lollies granola. It's one sugar, two carbs, 17 protein. It is so delicious when you mix it with other things. I know a lot of y'all are like, Bleh, I can't stand it. But if you mix it with the nut butter, the perfect keto or the high key and a lollies, oh my gosh, the lollies granola, y'all, you need that in your life. So good. And I can only find those at Rouse's. So one thing they did have that was great was their coffee was on sale for $4.97 and that included the community coffee and the PJ. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, that sale is still going on Tuesday and Wednesday for my local peeps. Go out and run and get that because they got the new Falevas. So they had the community winter blend, medium roast, merry and bright. Like what does that even mean? I don't know, but because it had a winter blend snowflake label on it, you know, we bought it. I, it probably tastes like poo, but you know, it, we had to get it because it's Christmassy, right? And then of course I had to try this dark chocolate peppermint one because I do have a peppermint creamer keto creamer I'm going to try out and share with y'all if it's good and I thought that would be delicious and that with my perfect keto chocolate collagen mixed up oh my gosh I was drooling in store over this Christmas coffee what the actual heck so 10 10 bucks on coffee for and you only get 10 cups in the Marion Bright I did not realize that or I might not have gotten it limited edition and 12 cups of that one Ross is the only place that sells my sparkling ice y'all y'all let me know if you have a store that sells it 
content, help out everybody down below where they can find it. Cause y'all been asking, where can I find it? Where can I find it? I can only find this at my Rouse's and that's just local to us Southern folks down here. So if you have found it at your store, share so everybody knows where they can get it. But the black raspberry is my favorite cause it tastes just like the regular sparkling ice, but it's got caffeine. And then I went ahead and got the other flavor, strawberry citrus. There's a blue one too, but they were out. They were out of everything. And I did get a bang blue raspberry, speaking of, cause I like this one a lot. It's probably my number two flavor. And I don't know if I'm going to hit the gym again this week just because we got so much going on. This is a really packed, crazy week right before Thanksgiving for us. It's we got a lot going on. So I might, may not, but I wanted to have one on hand. And these are two bucks and these are like a buck fifty seven. I did need some Caesar dressing. Don't come for me down below like keto police. Stay away because this is, of course, not the best as far as ingredients go because it's got soybean oil, which I'll know I eat the mayonnaise with it anyway. So I'm not that concerned. It does have a little bit of sugar there, as y'all see. But as far as carbs go, it's one carb for two tablespoons. It was one of the lower carby ones that I found. And I need that for my chicken Caesar roll up. So I mean, am I going to eat this on a daily? No, I'm eating it probably a couple of times a year. Not going to hurt y'all. Got some green chilies for the keto queso. And then I thought this was a great deal. And they also had the really long roll too. If you're local peeps, these are $2.99 on sale right now. 50 square feet for the rentals. I thought was a great deal. And like I said, the really long ones are included too for my local people. If you want to get that for turkey day. So that is everything that I got for $79. This girl's got to get some stuff done around here. And then we're going to be heading to Whole Foods and I'll be back. All right. So we're back home from Whole Foods, $33 later, like $33. What? So we went ahead and I got the Annie's organic grass fed macaroni cups because these are like four and this is so ridiculous these are like four dollars for two it's like two dollars a damn cup however the box is about the same price and yeah it's not the best y'all is like carbs we're not doing that with whale especially but this is the best box macaroni and cheese you're gonna find is the grass fed one even the regular annie's is not the best i mean it's better than like your craft mac and cheese and he is obsessed so i'm like if we're gonna get it we're gonna get this one. I know Costco sells this in a big case, but they don't sell it at my Costco and I can't get it online, which is a freaking bummer. I got to figure out another option because that was legit like eight bucks. What? Eight dollars. Oh my goodness. Eating healthy is hella expensive in some aspects. I, it's not for us for keto because we can just do like protein and veggie, but for kids, that's where they get us y'all. And that's why we go the cheap route because freaking kids put some food away, right? Their Zevia was 40% off. I put this on my Instagram story, so definitely follow me over there because I like to post in the moment on Instagram versus YouTube. And that's going on until December 1st, 40% off their six packs and their 10 packs. So it took off $3.99, they're $4.99. So I, you know, $4.99 times two minus four bucks. That's crazy. It's almost like buying one and get one free, which is an amazing deal. And I haven't had Zevi in a hot second. So I stocked up on that. Did I need it? No. Did I want it? We got it. Then I also got Waylon the Purdue Chicken Plus. This is a chicken breast and vegetable dino nuggets. These were the only dino nuggets at Whole Foods, but they have a fourth of a cup of veggies. It says three grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein, no antibiotics, blah, blah, blah. So when looking at them, y'all told me about the Purdue brand. I, they have it at some of my Walmarts, but not the one that I usually shop at. The ingredients are not bad. It does have a little bit of soybean oil way down at the bottom and a little bit of brown sugar. You know what I mean? Ugh. We got to pick our battles. We got to pick our battles, right? So I know the Dino Nuggets at Walmart, the gluten-free ones, they might be a little bit better, honestly, than these. But these were like $7.99, and that's a big bag versus some of the other options they had at Whole Foods. Whole Foods doesn't always have good stuff like that. Whole Foods, it's not really, y'all. Not. You've got to look at stuff because they got a lot of crap up in the Whole Foods, I have to say and admit. But they got some good stuff too. I went ahead and got this whole black peppercorns. I totally forgot to get some at Rouse's. This was like $3, but it's huge. It's almost three ounces and it's got the grinder. So I thought that was nice. My kids flew through the Costco Annie's crackers and the cookies already like what the actual heck I don't know what happened to them especially when I was gone for two days but they all gone like it's ridiculous so I got the organic bunny grams these are the honey ones and this is the big box I want to say this was almost five bucks there was no deal going on no deals at all up at the Whole Foods except for the Zevia so here is the ingredients and the macros the ingredients are not bad I mean it's all like organic sugar 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 but this is like a better option than an Oreo or a Chips Ahoy in my opinion so I don't give them a ton when I'm here. When I'm here, I don't give them a ton. So I went ahead and got a big box until we can get to Costco. 
Also, Waylon flew through the entire box of applesauce from Costco while I was gone. Y'all, they just lived their best life when I was gone for two days. So I got the organic applesauce. This is unsweetened. This was the same price as the pouches. And you get six in here and you only get four pouches. So I opted for this instead. Yeah, it might be a little bit more cleanup, but that's okay. No preservatives. And all it is is organic apples. So it was a good deal, you know, to get this versus some of the other things. So that's what my $33 got me at Whole Foods. Not much. That's my grocery haul this week. Y'all give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to the grocery hauls every week here on my channel. And if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you a part of the YouTube fam. We talk everything keto here. Everything healthy here is the main message we spread here. It's keeping things healthy and how we can try to do it on the cheap. Just hella hard. We'd love to have you. So make sure to click all your notifications down below so you do not miss a future upload from me. Y'all have an amazing week and awesome night, day, whenever you're watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanksgiving's coming. And I got a really awesome in-store grocery Thanksgiving video for y'all coming up soon. So stay tuned. Bye y'all.